What's going on, people? It's your boy back at it again. Today is the 103rd day of the Elevation Challenge. And let me tell you how it's going. Not that good, honestly. You know, I just didn't expect it to be like this. I didn't expect it to be like this at all. But um, I'm learning. I'm learning so much. Like um, the past uh, few couple of weeks let's call it the past couple of weeks like december and january were really really good uh, especially january january was pretty much flawless as far as my studying as far as my uh, sleep as far as my um actually my studying needed some more work my but my exercise and my sleep and my diet were really really good i actually haven't had any bread ever since the beginning of this year so that's that's good but uh yeah a lot of, a lot of stuff happened but i think uh, at the beginning of the six month challenge i was i told myself that i'm gonna take on a lot of stuff but i'm gonna just spread it out over um six months so it's gonna be so much more doable but the rate of my growth was so slow that uh, i wasn't getting what i wanted I wasn't getting the results that I wanted, so uh, I kept feeling discouraged and unmotivated. So, for example, my my workout schedule went like this. The first day would be lifting. The second day would be uh, a recovery day plus running. The third day was lifting again. And then the fourth day was like um, hit uh, cardio slash CrossFit work, workout, something like that. Um, and then the last day was the fr Friday was calisthenics, uh, and Saturday was skill drill day, and then Sunday was a zone two cardio day, which is like the longer cardios um, sessions. Uh, and I feel like for me right now, like doing one calisthenics day every week. It just wasn't enough, you know, doing one leg day per week, not enough. Or doing one upper body day per week, not not enough for me to see my growth. I feel like if I was a like the CEO of some company, you know, and I spread it out like that, um, then I'd be able to, you know, I, I feel like that, that schedule would work for somebody like that a lot better. But me, my goals are different. I... I want to see some faster results so i decided to say screw it with that whole schedule i did it for a good solid three or four months maybe more um but you know it was good it was great it got it, it like uh, gave me the foundation of my strength back you know so like now i can go to the gym whenever i want and I'm, i feel good that i'm gonna go get a good lift in you know so I got that, but now I want to start doing calisthenics a lot more, a lot more calisthenics. You know, I want to, I feel like lifting weights, um, it just puts your body under pressure in, in, in ways that might not benefit you in the long run if you really don't know what you're doing, you know? So knowing that I want to do calisthenics because that's different. That's just you know, body movement. Even if I wanted to go a better route, I would like sign up for a kung fu class, which I'm looking to, to, to do. But uh, I want to do calisthenics, okay? Because calisthenics guys, they can grow muscle, but they can at the same time get really strong. And their joints and, you know, I mean, with proper care, the joints and the muscles and the balance and the alignment in their body is uh, very well man maintained and so I like the way calisthenics treats the body at the same time I do want to also get into some um, martial arts like uh, kung fu would be would be dope to just adopt kung fu as a practice you know and keep it with me forever but yeah so I'm changing my workout schedule like that and uh, for my eating, a couple of days ago, I had a big revelation. 
when I chewed my food for a while. This was very interesting. I feel like I I connected with a part of me that I had never connected with before. It was um, like I had never noticed that I eat for the satisfaction of my mouth more than for the satisfaction of my stomach. And I'm always eating because I want my mouth to feel and be satisfied by eating food. So uh, the other day I chewed on some beef jerky for a while and and then I felt satisfied. I didn't want to eat anymore. I just I looked at the food and I was like, that's still cheese. But I don't want it anymore. Like I don't want it like that anymore. You know, I used to love cheese. I, I still love cheese. I mean, obviously, but just it was a quick, you know, shift. It was a really cool shift. I think it's it's definitely good. And I feel like chewing food is something that like first of all, we know this that like chewing for a long time will stimulate more blood flow to the brain area like literally i've done this all the time you know you can see all these things move it's going to stimulate more blood flow to the brain to the head and chewing a lot is something that humans used to do a lot more than they do now actually in this book right here breath um got the author's name james nestor he talks about um how a few centuries ago, not too long ago, the food that people ate were a lot more chewable. You know, we were chewing on food so much more. Uh, we spent so much time chewing food. But now all our food are like biscuits and cookies and yogurt, so we don't we don't chew food anymore. But chewing food is essential to the development of of uh well first first of all your facial structure because when you chew food for a long time you're constantly using this um these muscles in the jaw the jaw develops to be come come forward a little bit and and expand as you're as you keep on using it so but what that also does is you it opens up the airways um in your nasal passages because they're right behind the jaw. So if your jaw is well developed and comes outward more, there's more space for your um, nasal passages and you breathe better. So chewing helps with your breathing. But I can only imagine because this is true in science. When we do things, right, that our body was used to doing a very long time ago, like it's all on, in our DNA, right? Like my, my, in my DNA, there's... Like there's there's so much information in my DNA. For example, when I go take an ice bath, you know, my DNA gets triggered in a very specific way, you know, and it produces it like influences my body to go back to those times and like retrieve information from my DNA to know how to deal with the situation, or whatever, right? So it's like it's like making those links. I'm not a neurologist, you know, so I, I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I don't know exactly, but I know it. I, I feel it because when I go into the ice bath, I feel that this affects, it just affects my body in a way that's so, so primal. My awareness becomes so sharp. My body becomes so aware. And I know that it's a good influence on my body. So that's that. And the same thing happened to me with chewing food. I was chewing food and I was like, oh my God, this is, this is real. This shift in my body just happened and it's so... Uh, powerful Donald Trump on you um, it's powerful the way it affected me so I, I started to chew my food a lot more I literally had some dreams one time I don't know I, f I feel like I've mentioned it on my on this channel before but I in my dream one time I pulled unchewed food out of my knee and it was weird and I spoke to a friend of mine who was very wise and she told me that like it's co your body is communicating with you in that way letting you know yo listen like Look what you're doing to yourself. Chew your food. And I've never been a food chewer. Ever. So, yeah, I start chewing my food. And that feels really good. It feels really good chewing my food. Um, yeah, so those are a couple things that happened. Um, and as far as the challenge goes, um, you know, I'm, it, right now, especially right now in this moment, it's a very, very slow moment. Like, I... I went to the gym yesterday, but before that, I didn't really go to the gym this week. Uh, just, I just kind of relaxed, you know, 
I, I, I woke up late, I relaxed, um, but ate good food. I'm still, you know, I'm taking care of myself, but no, actually I went to, went to the gym at the beginning of the week, but during the week I didn't go. So I, I went to the gym twice this week, which is not the best. No, three times this week. Not the best, but um, according to my schedule, right? I'm, I'm slacking, but I'm going to rewrite my schedule now. And today is the, God, what is it? Today's the 11th of February. So, God, where is it? 11th, it's a Saturday. Tomorrow's the 12th. The 13th is going to be Monday. So, February 13th, I'm going to hop back onto this um, schedule. You know, waking up earlier, doing the work and all this stuff. And maybe I'll give myself a break from waking up or obligating myself to wake up at 5 a.m. I'll, I'll just say, you know what, it's cool. Give myself an extra hour of sleep. Wake up at 6 a.m. every day and get to work. And once I'm used to that, then I'll make it 5 a.m., you know. But I, I love to be a white game, 5 a.m., white game, 5 a.m. waker upper. Because it just is so, it's such, it's a different feeling, you know, waking up at 5 a.m. So... Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm still here. I'm still doing the challenge. It's still not over. Um, still eating good food. I'm gonna. I'm looking for a new gym to go just start doing calisthenics. So that's that. And I'm going to focus on... I've been helping a friend out with his van. He's building his own van. And I've been helping him out here and there, you know, but I want to do that more. And I also want to focus on building my workshop in my parents' basement. And, you know, I feel like that's just a really good use of my time. So with that being said, that's the work I'm getting into. And yeah, uh, that's it. About to go get it done. Yeah. That's it. Thanks for watching. Peace.